Asthma is a reversible condition where there's constriction and inflammation of the bronchial tubes or the respiratory airways. And many things can trigger it. It could be dust, pollen, it could be cold air, exercise, cigarette smoke, and of course pollution in the general atmosphere. The causes are multifactorial, but the end result is very similar in most people. I'm a mother of nine-year-old twins, Holly, who has brittle asthma, and she's had that since she was three and a half, and Joshua, who's got severe asthma, and he started when he was born. It's very scary, especially with my daughter. It's, um, it's very serious. She can deteriorate within a couple of hours, so it's vital that she gets the right medicine at the right time. I have had good experience with GPs, but there has been occasional GP that hasn't understood. There should be more awareness, more understanding, more training, and also I don't want to lose my family to asthma because the medical professionals are not taking this seriously enough. We're calling on politicians, governments, decision makers, general practitioners, to, to listen to what people with asthma are saying. This is a wake-up call. We need to radically and urgently improve asthma care to reduce the number of deaths every year from asthma. I thought I had a chest infection, so I went to the doctors and they said, yeah, you probably have got a chest infection, so here's, here are some antibiotics, because I was quite wheezy and stuff and I didn't feel too well. And that didn't really heal it, so I went back to the GP and they said, well, yeah, I, I don't think it's asthma. I think maybe this is just something that's going to kind of kind of wear off in time. And I was going out and playing sport at the time as an 18 year old kid and feeling quite sort of breathless sometimes. Then I went back a third time and they decided to then give me a, a Ventolin inhaler to see if that helped, which it did straight away and it relieved the wheeziness. But it took a time before they got to that diagnosis. And in that time, you know, there were moments where I just felt a little bit kind of unwell and um, I'm having breathing difficulties. But fortunately, you know, we nipped it in the bud. If we can raise awareness of asthma amongst the population at large, not just the parents of people who have asthma and their relatives, but also their friends, employers, government, we will achieve so much. We will make sure that people have the best treatment, uh, that they're supported, uh, that people understand the, the symptoms, so that if symptoms are getting worse suddenly, people know what to do. And we want to get rid of the stigma of asthma, that you can't do this or you can't do that just because you're, you're wheezing or a bit out of breath. People can overcome that uh, in almost all instances, and we can certainly prevent 90% of the deaths that happen every year. So we want people to tell us what they need from the charity. We want people to come to the website uh, at Asthma UK and say what it is you want to get off your chest, what's happened to you, what's your experience. Tell us so that we can help other people to make their lives better.